Welcome. Ha hey. Oh, I mean, I thought I was good. I uh, thought I was going. All right. I'm, okay. I'll go. I'm going to go first. Welcome happy campers or welcome back. My name's Amanda or we are Amanda here with Cookville RV and Marine. And today we're taking a look into this 2022 Grand Design Transcend 231RK. Let's get going. And here we are in the front of this Transcend featuring the brand new cap, maybe not brand new, but the white was the old one. The black is the new one. I love the sleek look. But this front cap is super durable and it's really got a big plate here so that any rocks that kind of skip up while you're going down the road won't hurt it. But other than that, let's go look at our outdoor entertainment space. And here we are on our outdoor entertainment space. And first and foremost, we have a double entrance on this transcend. And as Grand Design said, it's perfect for the couples that don't want to see each other. So you've got double entrances so you guys can go in and out without even knowing each other is there. But some other aspects of this outdoor entertainment space is our gigantic awning. It really spans pretty much the entire length and past each door of your camper. We've got a few windows that look into our dinette area over here. But other than that, this is a really awesome space and our slide is located on the other side. So nothing gets in the way. You've got plenty of room to hang out here with the family. And let's check out the pass-through storage. Here we are in our pass-through storage, pretty standard. I like that they fully finish it out so it's easy to clean. A great place to hide some things that you don't want outside of your camper. As well as this cool thing that helps you bring your slides back in in case of emergency. And we have not one, but two LED lights under here that do have an on, off, and motion sensor options. On that side, pretty much standard, everything you need for when you get to the campsite, as well as our solar power sort of connection there. If you wanted to add more to that, this would be where you get to that. So let's go inside. And here we are on the inside of this Transcend, and I am in the one and only slide on this camper. And with it out, you have plenty of space, plenty of floor space and walking space, but with it in, it definitely does close off some things. It'll make your fridge be closer to your front door, but it'll close off the access to the bathroom from this door. But don't worry, we have two entrances. So even through the entrance in the master, you can get to the bathroom even with the slide closed. But a little reminder, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification icon because we post videos and we wanna know what you wanna see. So leave us a comment below, but let's get going with the kitchen. From our entrance through the main entrance here, we are right next to the kitchen. I love this rear kitchen layout. It does give you plenty of amenities and plenty of counter space. So in this back area here, we have plenty of storage for all of our glasses and cups and plates and serving equipment, as well as plenty of space to put out appetizers, as well as maybe this other little space here, which is also a cubby and has two extra drawers. Not that you'll need any extra because check out all of these drawers. I mean, even this one, that is massive enough for all your pots and pans. Taking a closer look into this convenient access for shoes that I put in here, check out how big and tall each of these compartments are. You could probably fit even boots or even child boots in these. So there's really no limit into what this can house as well as all the drawers that are on it that can kind of catch as a catch all for all your keys and anything else you have hanging out with you at the campsite. But let's look back at that refrigerator located right next to your cooking area and everything else that you have for when you're preparing a meal is your RV fridge. Now this RV fridge is pretty massive. Um, it's got plenty of places and this freezer is also pretty impressive. It's very deep and I like that they kept it in a modern look, but with the exterior that matches your cabinets, as well as more storage here. And then this is like a pantry option for you, and it's really deep. I think my entire arm, I can't even reach the end back there. And it's super tall, big enough for any boxes of cereal, family size that you may have. So you can really pack all the snacks and these two can compartments here. Also in our slide is our theater scene that we've seen before, but I love all the amenities that comes with this. They light up, they recline, they don't hit the back wall, and they even put a spot for you to put your remotes so you don't lose them. And check back here, there's even a plug back here so you can charge your phone while you're sitting in your theater seating. And then also we have this window open. These are sliding windows, both on this side and on our dinette slide. So the cross airflow is pretty well in this camper. Speaking of dinette, 
check out this live edge look of this dinette. And don't forget this does double as another sleeping area for one other person. And this big window I mentioned earlier that has awesome airflow. And above that window is our entertainment area where we have our TV that is on a swivel and two more storage areas on each side. And this one, it'll house our indoor outdoor speaker system, all of your controls next to your other controls for your slides and your awnings and everything that's on this side. So everything's pretty much conveniently located, but let's go into the bathroom. I really do love this layout. For one reason, the bathroom is easily accessible from whatever entrance you use and how large they make these openings for your sliding doors. So even if you have two people that are crossing paths, you've got plenty of room for this bathroom. They added a nice sink here that is very deep so it's easy enough to wash your hands or your face in. I love the mirrored front medicine cabinet. It is quite small, but it's definitely all you need, including all the storage down here. There's plenty of places for everything. On this side, we have a porcelain foot flush toilet that's at an angle, so it's not super in the way. You wouldn't even notice it. And our shower takes up this side of the bathroom. We've got a squeegee door, a nice big skylight here. Again, I am 5'11", have plenty of elbow room. I love the removable nozzle they have here. And they also added in extra linen storage. So no need to have a towel rack because you have all these uh, little storage cubbies. You can really stuff towels in or even clothes or even products. So it's super convenient. But let's go in the master. And here we are in the master. We have a residential size bed that is super comfortable. And I love these comforters that come with the campers. And check out all this storage above here. I'm thinking pretty baskets would look great up there. As well as on each side, we have a mirrored front wardrobe option. These are shelves, but it's because they added in a special surprise. They added in another wardrobe just on this wall for extra hanging places and your clothes instead of going sideways would go facing forward but they added the travel notches in the rod so that nothing goes sliding when you're going up and down the road we have one window in this room we have two outlets and one usb that has two usb chargers but other than that we have an exit our second exit here which i will be going out but first if you have any questions about this camper or any other camper on the Grand Design Line, give us a call here at Cookville RV Marine or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.